Dispersal of Seeds In this module, you will learn about the dispersal of seeds. Sid has come for a vacation with his family to an isolated island. He is enjoying a walk on the beach with his mother. He must be enjoying watching so many coconut trees around, wouldn't he? Do you wonder who sowed the seeds of coconut plants at such an isolated place? Well, you will be amazed to know that not always are the seeds sown by people. Many a time, seeds move away from the parent plant naturally, reach a distant place, get the proper conditions to germinate and then grow into a new plant. So this is how so many coconut plants have grown on the island where Sid is visiting. So kids, you have seen how seeds move away from a parent plant naturally to a distant place. This process is known as seed dispersal. Seed dispersal is important for the proper growth of plants. Do you know why? Seeds need suitable conditions of soil, air, water and sunlight to grow. If all the seeds fall on the ground near the parent plant, they will not get enough food, water and sunlight to grow. So, seeds have to spread in a large area to grow well. Now you know what seed dispersal is and how important it is. The next question is how it occurs. Seeds of some plants like pea, when dry, explode and disperse on their own. This method of dispersal is known as dispersal by explosion. Beans, ladies fingers and poppies are other examples of plants whose seeds are dispersed by explosion. In contrast, there are seeds of certain plants that need some agents for their dispersal. These agents can be wind, water or animals. Seeds begin with the wind. Seeds of some plants like that of cotton are very light and are dispersed by wind. Seeds of some plants like that of dandelion have hair-like projections that help them to be carried by the wind. Similarly, seeds of some plants like that of maple have a wing-like structure. These seeds are also carried by wind and thus dispersed. Now let's see how water helps in seed dispersal. Seeds of plants that grow in or near water bodies like that of coconut float on water and are carried by water to different places. Other examples of seeds that are dispersed by water include the seeds of hydrilla, lotus and water lily. Lastly, let us see how animals act as an agent for seed dispersal. Seeds of some plants such as that of cocklebur are surrounded by hooks or spikes which stick to the body of furry animals and are carried away. Some plants like guava have fruits with very hard seeds. These fruits are eaten by birds and animals like squirrels. The seeds are not digested and are passed out through their droppings at places distant from the parent plant. Thus, these seeds get dispersed. Now let's recap. The movement of seeds away from their parent plant is known as seed dispersal. Seed dispersal is important for the proper growth of plants. 
seeds of some plants explode and move away from the parent plant on their own. Seeds of some plants are dispersed by agents such as wind, water or animals.